Technology, sports, and the arts are the pillars of the Pope's educational project titled Scolas. The initiative grows more each and every day, and now it also has the support of the UN. After impact studies done by UNICEF, we achieved a global agreement in 181 countries. It is a way of working together with all countries from the Scholas proposal and with the support of UNICEF. The actual desire is to educate. As the Pope said, restoring a broken educational project and making it global. Now UNICEF is also working with Scholas to develop technological tools that connect students worldwide. And a living legend has also joined the Scholas initiative. Diego Armando Maradona, who's considered one of the greatest soccer players of all time, says he's happy to collaborate with Pope Francis. We talked about many things. We talked about Scholas and the hunger suffered by children. Players must unite and do something for those kids who do not eat in so many parts of the world. We agreed on everything. So all I can say is that I am a fan of Pope Francis. I'm his biggest fan. Since the start, soccer has played a major role in the educational network, which helps students share values and educational methods on an international level. Scolas was created back in 2013 with two other great soccer players, Lionel Messi and Gianluigi Buffon. Along with good values, soccer also offers a major economic boost to the project. The America's Cup is to be played in honor of Scholas. Olive trees will be planted as usual, but also, for every goal a country scores, $10,000 will be donated to projects in that country. In the month of October, the second annual Party for Peace will be held at the Olympic Stadium in Rome. Last year, 900,000 euros were raised for educational projects at different schools, networks, and social organizations around the world. They were all connected through Scholas.